how to quantify amounts of radiation. There are two key methods to quantifying amounts of radioactivity. One has to do with the amount of radiation a given substance is giving off, and the other is the amount of radiation that's been absorbed over time by a particular person. The amount of radiation of a given substance is usually given in an old unit, a curie, named after Marie Curie and is given the abbreviation CI. There's a new unit for this, the Becquerel, and the amount of radiation absorbed by a person is typically given the new unit, a sievert, or SV, where the old unit is a rem, or a Rankine equivalent man. Let's look at these two specifically. So what is a curie? A curie is an amount of radioactivity of a given substance. If I have a hunk of uranium, it has a certain number of curies. And the number of curies is related to the actual number of radioactive decays from that particular sample per unit time. In particular, we usually have seconds. So one curie turns out to be equal to 3.7 times 10 to the 10th decays per second. So that's a lot of decays. And you'll note that this decay could be described in a number of ways. It might be called an event or a count or a decay or a disintegration. And it's simply saying that there's been a radioactive decay event. And for a given sample, obviously, the curies will change over time because as it decays, there'll be less and less radioactive materials. And so a curie is a number for a sample at any given moment. Um, the new unit, which is not often used, is the Becquerel, and the Becquerel makes a lot more sense. It's simply one decay per second. So something that has a million Becquerels is decaying a million times a second. Now, that's how you describe a certain amount, how much radioactivity there is in a given sample. The other thing we're always worried about is how much radiation have I, as a person, been exposed to? And the unit for this is a sievert, or SV. The old unit is the Rankine equivalent man. And what a sievert is, is it's a certain amount of radiation energy that has been absorbed per kilogram. And one of the difficulties is deciding how much energy all different types of radiation have, because alpha radiation is different than beta radiation is different than gamma radiation. And so what's been established is a scale in which we can come up with an equivalent energy for all these different forms of radiation, so that when you're trying to figure out your exposure, you don't have to say, oh, I was exposed to this many joules of gamma radiation and this many joules of alpha radiation and this many joules of beta radiation and blah, blah, blah. And instead, we put it into some equivalent energy. It's a certain amount of energy per kilogram because the amount of radiation that you can be exposed to without some kind of damage depends on how big you are for a small rat a certain amount of radiation would be bad compared to a larger person. And so a sievert is a joule per kilogram, an equivalent joule per kilogram. And the old unit of a rem, or a Rankine equivalent man, uh, there is smaller. 100 rem is 1 SV. So how much is a sievert? Just to give you some idea about the effects of a single dose of radiation. So this is not over a lifetime, but let's imagine that you got one blast of radiation. It would be a certain number of sieverts. And if it was, say, 0 to 0.25 sieverts, you'd have no observable effect, at least in the short term. Long term, you never know, but short term, no problem particular dose of a quarter to a half a sievert, um, your white blood cell count would decrease slightly. Um, half a sievert to one, you'd see a significant drop in white blood cell activity and you'd start to see burns or lesions. One to two sieverts, um, your hair would fall out, you'd start vomiting, um, problems in general with internal organs. Two to five sieverts, uh, you'd now start internal bleeding and hemorrhaging, ulcers, and possibly death. And a single dose of more than five sieverts would kill you. And so 
the question of how much is a sievert, a sievert is a lot. You don't want exposures to get anywhere near 1 SV.